what's going on guys? This is Mike Reed here. I'm back again with yet another tour review for you guys today. So you guys may be wondering already, what is up with the funky camera angle? Well, today we have a rather special and big review in more ways than one. Today we are taking a look at one of the most interesting things that I've ever had the honor to, to own. Today we're taking a look at, now you zoom the camera out again, oh boy, so you guys can actually see the box because this thing is absolutely colossal, hold on guys, got to adjust the camera and my chair back a bit because this thing is absolutely massive, today we're taking a look at the Lego Technic Lamborghini Sion FPK37. Yes, guys, this is one of the most expensive and the most, like, the largest set I've ever had the pleasure of owning. And this set is absolutely insane. So, we're going to start off, obviously, with the box here. And right at the top, as you guys could see, we have big ol' green box. This is obviously based on the roof of the car itself with a big old Lamborghini logo slapped right there. Let's move on to the sides of the box. First on the bottom side, uh, we do have the Lego Technic logo, which this is based on the front sort of grill area of the vehicle. Age is 18 plus, yeah, no kids allowed here. <laughs> And we and we, and there is the set number four two one one five, and this set has a total of three thousand six hundred and ninety six pieces. So there's a lot of building to do in this one. So now let's move on to the other sides of the box. So moving on to this side, we have some legal jargon over here, Barco, which I'm gonna have to blur out as I have to do all, which is I which I need to start doing more with some of these reviews. And um, we actually have an actual size of the wheel there. It is absolutely massive, these tires. Moving on to the top of the box, we do have, or not the top, but the side of the box, this other side, we have the Lamborghini logo, which actually is engraved a little bit, or it's a little raised, so it kind of has a texture to it. And this is obviously based on the back of the car. You have the two exhausts right there and the rear lights, which do have a texture to them as well, and they're nice and shiny and reflective. Now on the other side, we just have a Lego Technic logo. So now let's move on to the bottom of the box. Bottom of the box, you have a big old <laughs> artwork of the Lamborghini Scion set itself. And again, you have that 18 plus, 42115, 3,696 pieces. And of course, the little Lamborghini logo in the bottom corner there, along with the Lego logo there. So this thing is also 1 8 scale. Now, funny thing is, is that, let me center this into the actual camera view here a little bit. There you go. So you guys can see this. Um, this is not the first Lego supercar Lego has built. They started in 2016 with the Lego Technic Porsche 911 um, GT3 RS. And that was two, $300, I think, retail? Something like that. Uh, it was roughly around that sort of price range. And unfortunately, I couldn't get that set because... We recently moved out at that time, and as much as I wanted it for holiday of that year, unfortunately, I just couldn't get it, let alone afford it. So, then we skip another couple years to 28, we skip a year, so we skip 2017, we move forward to 2018. And in 2018, we get the Lego Technic uh, Bugatti Chiron. And that was another really big set, $200 set, 1A scale supercar. And that one was a pretty cool set, actually. Very, very well done. And, and made some massive improvements from the Porsche 911. Now we move forward into last year, which is 2020, obviously. And they release this, they, this set. Uh, the Lamborghini Scion, and honestly, or Sion, sorry, this this set, in my opinion, is probably Lego's best Technic supercar they've ever made, and the price of this set currently, uh, 
I know we don't talk about prices here, but I just want to give you guys a good idea how much you're of what you're getting with this set in terms of the money. This set is is set currently. The the MSRP of this is three hundred and eighty bucks. Yeah, that's right, three hundred and eighty dollars you're spending to get this set. I. I know that sounds like a lot, and I know I'm a spoiled I'm a spoiled human being. That much is evident. But can I just say, like I've been saying a couple times already in this video, this set is just absolutely incredible. So without further ado, let's adjust the camera angle a little bit and take a look at this car in detail. So see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, a uh, quick jump cut here for a second. Uh, in my excitement to actually get to the main review, I completely skipped over this part um, of the box, and it's probably the coolest part of the box besides just all the artwork. It's the, fa it's the actual building process that you have to go through to actually make the set possible, right? So quickly opening up the box, very nice smooth opening. Right away, you guys can see the inside. And the inside is based on the rear ventilation system of the vehicle. So as you go through the set, you'll go through the following boxes in order of the stages. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, and six boxes that you'll go through. And you'll take all of them out and build each stage but what's nice is that once you actually take out all six boxes as I'm do clearly doing now sorry for the shaky camera for this part but you guys can see right there kind of move the box out of the way we can see the instruction booklets, and you're going to start with instruction one here, and instruction book two here. And these are pretty beefy books right here. As you guys can see from the side, pretty much coffee, coffee table book size for these. And as you can see, when you combine both of them together, they will create a silhouette of the side of the completed set, which is absolutely fantastic. And taking the books out as well, we'll show off one last little trick inside the box itself. And that is this little bit of detail. You can see the sort of Y design, Y shaped designs here, which is a very popular. Um, or a favorite design sort of style that the that Lamborghini Automobili or Automobili Lamborghini uses for their vehicles um, designs, right? And right here in the corner, we do have a nice Lamborghini logo in cursive, which is fantastic. So now with this part out of the way, now we can move on into the actual review. So without wasting any more time, guys, sorry for that little pause, as of course I had to adjust the camera, let's take a look at the Lamborghini Sai... Hang on. That doesn't look right. Hold on. I said the Lamborghini Scion. This is the <laughs> Veneno. What? Okay, let's try that again here. Let's, let's try that again. So without wasting any more time... Let's look at the Lamborghini Sot. Okay, real funny. All right, this isn't this isn't the right car either. Where is the Lamborghini Scion? I asked for the Scion. Give me the Scion. Where is that one? That's better. Now we're looking at the right vehicle here. Okay, so once again, looks like we're going to have to adjust the friggin' camera again. Oh boy. Alright, so we're going to have to do this at a really funky camera angle, aren't we? So if you guys couldn't tell already, I have to adjust my whole setup now. So that way you guys can actually see this. Oh boy. 
This is the Lamborghini Scion. This is what you're paying for. 380 bucks goes into this. For a quick comparison, here is the little display with the logo of the vehicle on it. Look at how tiny that is compared to the actual vehicle itself. Also, for another comparison, here is my hand. Here's my hand on the vehicle. Yeah, this thing is absolutely massive. So, that being said, let's take a look quickly at this little extra that we get here. So here it is, Lamborghini Scion FPK 37 little sign. Very nice with the logo and everything on it. Very nice print. And what's also nice about this Lego set is that it comes with no stickers. Everything you see here is just printed. There's no stickers, thank God, because I'll probably escalate the price even higher than it already is. So that being said, let's take a look at the car itself. Oh boy. Starting with, if I may, oh geez, I might have to move my 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 display back here a little bit because I'm not gonna be able to, oh geez, I'm not gonna be able to actually show this off properly without having to adjust my whole setup back here. So let me just quickly adjust a couple things and then get this big thing into the frame. So here we go. <laughs> Let's start this review off with, of course, the front of the vehicle. So front of the vehicle does look very nice. Of course, we do have some nice detail for the headlights, details for the grills, and also at the top of the car. I don't know if you guys can see that. I kind of have to zoom the screen in. There is a Lamborghini logo right at the front of the car. Hold on, maybe I can get a closer zoom on this. Hold on, let's see. Can I get a better zoom? There you go. So you can see Lamborghini logo right there. Absolutely fantastic. Is that spelled incorrectly? No, it actually is spelled correctly. I just didn't notice the R there. So moving the camera back out again. Zoom that back out. And adjust the camera a little bit again. Let's take a look at this car uh, from the front here. And um, we can actually open the front roof up. And inside, you actually get a little piece of luggage. Yeah, so you get some little luggage in here. Uh, very nice detail on this luggage, even though there's no, like, Lamborghini logos or anything on it. It's a nice little gray little purse type thing, even though the strings here don't want to sit correctly. And you can actually open it up, and there's nothing inside, but of course you could, like, put a little something-something in here. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, a little piece of paper or... Like maybe like some sort of other little thing you want to store in there. Just anything really you can put in there. And then you can easily, there's a little slot there in the front. You can just drop it inside. And then as you guys can see, there are little hinges that hold that up with friction. And then you push it down and down comes the lid. And it's very nice there um, for the front. So that is the actual front of the vehicle there. Now let's move on to the good parts. And we're gonna start off with the sides here. So the sides of the vehicle actually have some really nice detail here. As you guys can see, with some nice detailed rims, real rubber tires, and by the way, the rims on these are custom for this set. They are specially made in this sort of rose gold color, as this vehicle is actually dis is based on its display model that was shown off at multiple different car shows back during the original release window of this vehicle, which is fantastic. Something else you guys might notice as well, let me zoom the camera in again, is that this car actually has some detailed brake pads. You guys can't really see, but there is a Lamborghini logo on the brake pads, which is absolutely fantastic. I really do like that. Something else you'll notice is that there's little Lamborghini logos on the inside of the tires. Let me see if I can turn that around a little bit. You guys can see, it's not labeled. Oh geez, it's not labeled, but there are little Lamborghini logos on each of the four tires, and each of the four tires has a brake pad with that little Lamborghini logo print on it, which is absolutely fantastic. I really do like that attention to detail. So, what else does this thing do? Well, on each of the four wheels, they actually have geared differentials in them. What does that mean? Well, that means essentially the wheels can spin independently and together as a single unit, essentially making this car a four-wheel drive vehicle, which is fantastic. I do quite like that, as that's how the real car works. 
So, let me show off the suspension a little bit here. So if I push down on the front of the car, you'll see that it bounces a little bit. That is the built-in shocks doing its work, which is fantastic. And also on the back of the car, push down on the back, it moves because of course, like I said, there are Lego shocks in here and they're very nice shocks because you see you push down and they very nicely bounce back, which is fantastic considering the weight of this vehicle because this thing is absolutely gigantic if I didn't make that obvious already. So now let's move on to the doors here. The doors here um, actually do open. There's a hidden push button right where my finger is. You push that down and the door opens. It's a it's a going door, just like the real vehicle. Absolutely fantastic. Of course, you don't get very much room to actually see the inside of the interior, but uh, it is a really nice feature, and both doors feature this push-button gimmick. And what's also nice is, unlike other cars in LEGO where the doors kind of slam down when you, when you want to close them, with this one, you let go of the push-button and they gently drop back into place, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that attention to detail because again, that's how the real car functions, which is beautiful. And uh, now let's move on from that into the interior details, which are gonna be very, very hard to show off on camera because uh, it's very, very hard to see. But let me see if I can get the camera in here. Can you guys see the inside of the car there? You can kind of see it from this angle. I'm using my little tripod here to kind of show this off. Might have to move the door a little bit out of the way. Well, actually, that's not going to help. But you guys can see, you guys can kind of make out an interior detail right there. So there is a detailed dashboard on the inside. Re really well done details on the dashboard. It has your speedometers. It has your different, um, you know, speeds and whatnot. And... Um, What's nice about this car as well is this steering wheel. If you turn that, it's kind of hard to do because of the weight of the wheels, but let me lift up the front of the car so that way you guys can kind of see this. Hold on, let me move the camera back again. Uh, if we lift this up and we turn the steering wheel on the inside, the wheels turn, which is absolutely fantastic. I love this feature and it works really, really well. It's very smooth. There's no, there's no like the weight of the wheels, there's barely any weight in the wheels. So it's real nice to turn. It's just unfortunate that the actual weight of the vehicle itself makes it hard to turn the wheels whilst they're on the ground. But that's a minor critique as I still appreciate the function regardless, since it works extremely well and obviously it works well for the vehicle itself and the whole aesthetic this thing has going for it. So moving back the camera into the interior again, can you guys see that red little piece there? That is the gear shift. Now, some of you might be wondering, why are you focusing on the gear shift? Well, that's because the gear shift actually works. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna use my finger here and you can change between the different uh, modes of movement on this vehicle. So right now we're in neutral, so the motor's not engaged. If we push it forward, now we are in the forward position. If we click it back twice, we are now in reverse. So that's a really nice feature. I really like how that works. And there actually are gears in here to make that all work. Moving on to the right side of the vehicle, uh, again, as I explained before, same push door gimmick, but can, you, but can you guys see this little black switch in here? If you push that or pull that upwards, the back of the car um, spoiler will move up and down, which is absolutely fantastic, and it works extremely smoothly for this gimmick to work. And of course it is using some push rods and ball joints and whatnot to make all of that move. But still, wonderful, wonderful attention to detail. So, moving away from that, let's move on to the shining feature of this vehicle. The main reason you're buying this set for. And besides, of course, the car and the appearance of the vehicle itself. Well, let's look at the 8-speed sequential transmission. 
That's right. This thing has a has a realistic um, speed changing gimmick inside of it. And this gimmick is absolutely fantastic. So let's move back to the steering wheel again. And if we move the door out of the way, it's kind of hard to see. Actually, let me put the door down again. Can you guys see the little black pad right here? It's right where my finger is. If you push that forward, it changes the gears inside. And this works very, very smoothly. Now, how this now, <laughs> now you may be wondering, Mike, where's where's the gear system on this thing? Is this thing buried away? Can we not see what's going on? Well, thankfully, Lego, as smart as they are, the geniuses over there, thought of, thought of all of this and actually included a window on the bottom of the car. So you guys can see the gear system. So there it is, that is the gear system. So once again, if I go to the steering wheel and I push the brake pad, watch the gears move. Or not the brake pad, but the little pad behind the steering wheel. to move the thing around here. Can I get to this side as well? So there you go guys, that is the gear system right there, and that switches between four speed modes. So let me explain to you what's going on here. So, and this works on both sides of the steering wheel, it'll, it'll function. So what's happening is, is that this side right here, the rightmost side of the gear system, that's controlling the speed modes. So when I click it once, we are on speed one. Click it again, speed two, speed three, and then speed four. And once you click it one more time, resets the gears. And the leftmost system is the multiplier of the speed. So the multiplier, hold on, the multiplier here, um, how that works is that the multiplier um, multiplies the four speeds by a coefficient gear of 2.78. Yes, I actually did the math and looked all this information up. So essentially, the four speed modes can also be broken into speed modes five, six, seven, and eight, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's really hard to tell when you're actually playing with the car but I, re but I really appreciate this feature as once again, the real life vehicle does work exactly like this, which is absolutely fantastic. And whilst we have the car upside down, we can actually show off the gear differential so you guys can see. So you can move this wheel here and it moves with this one. And then this set of wheels can move as well. See, when I turn them, they move independently. And then let me shift over to the front of the car. So let me slide this over a little bit. Adjust the camera just a little bit again. So that way you guys can see when we turn the wheel, both wheels will move independently. But when you move one pair of wheels forward, Can you guys hear that behind it? That's the sound of the other wheels following suit. So essentially the wheels can move independently, but can also move together to essentially recreate the real models four wheel drive feature, which is absolutely fantastic. Love, love, love that attention to detail. And that's the big selling point right there, <laughs> right there for you guys is the eight speed um, differential trans, what is it called? Eight speed 
sequential transmission there we go that's the main gimmick of this vehicle right then and there so but that's not all this thing has this this car has one more trick up its sleeve one more trick and that has to do with the back of the car so once again so adjusting the camera again and actually as a matter of fact let me move the tripod all the way up there we go i'm actually holding the tripod here so you guys can see do you guys see the back of the car here it has a nice little italian flag designs and the sort of big panel here well you can actually lift this up so if you pull it up you have to kind of be careful about how you do this because you can pop pieces apart it's more more specifically this little red not red black rubber piece it's kind of hard to see because it meshes with the black of the actual pieces behind it but if you pull this up and move it out of the way you can actually get a nice look at the v12 engine in this thing and this thing, and this is absolutely fantastic. I love the way they designed this as it uses these little rubber pieces here to act as the sort of like cage that protects it. And also behind it, you can kind of see peeking the gear system inside. And it was also nice. And unfortunately, I can't show this on camera because this big piece right here covers the covers the gimmick up. But essentially, there are real working pistons on the inside of the vehicle that actually move when you're pushing the car along, which is absolutely fantastic. I don't know if I can really show this. Let me see if I can kind of show this feature. Does it? Uh, yeah, I can't really show it, guys. I'm sorry. Can't really show it, but there are moving pistons inside. Take my word for it. There are pistons in there, and there's full 12 um technic pistons back there that will actually move which is fantastic and also right here you can get a better idea of how the shocks work as well which is fantastic and then you have this little piece back here which i don't know what that is right i think that's supposed to be just another part of the car's like um what do you call it the actual like interior like the sort of mechanical structure of the vehicle but still very nice feature regardless so putting the back of the car back onto the back there you can see how that very nicely hides the engine so there you have it and also whilst we're here let's take a look at the back of the car a little more because there are some detailed headlights you guys make that out on camera there. There are little red system pieces there to replicate the, the tail lights of the actual vehicle, which look really, really nice. I love that sort of like that uh, attention to detail with the lights. And also here you can see right there the exhausts and the Lamborghini logo printed right there. Really nice little piece there. And these little metal, not metal, but these would be metal in the actual car, but the little struts back here that sort of make this sort of angled design here, which is absolutely fantastic. So, with that being said, that pretty much wraps up this review of the of this set. But one last thing I completely skipped over um, in the review is that there's one little detail here it's nothing major but there is a little gas cap detailed on this side of the vehicle can you guys kind of see that right there let me get the camera focused on it there we go so you guys can see there's a little gas cap right there with the lamborghini logo sort of on there it's kind of hard to see because it's very very tiny print but there is a gas there's a gas cap on this as well which is really nice to see and another thing I completely forgot to skip over are the facts of this car. So let me quickly get my notes here. Because, because of course, I have to take notes on all this because I want to make sure I get this right. Uh, let me list out some, let me throw out some facts for you about the real life model that this car is based on. So the Lamborghini Scion's name, uh, AKA the Scion means, or Sion means lightning flash in Bolognese, or blog, I don't know, Bolognese. Why do you ask? Because Lamborghini's um, company, the company, 
Automobili Lamborghini is based in Bologna, Italy. So there you go. The FPK 37 Porsche, the name, uh, stands for Ferdinand Carl Peach. That's spelled P I E C H. In his birth year of 1937. You guys seeing the reference here? He was the former chief of the Volkswagen Company, which is currently um, Automobili Lamborghini's parent company. Because they got bought up. I don't remember exactly when, but they did get bought up um, by Volkswagen. So now Volkswagen is the parent company of the Automobili Lamborghini brand, which is fantastic. The real life cost of this vehicle, although of course the Lego version is still uh, pretty pricey, is between two to three million bucks slash dollars. Yeah. And, um, and I know probably a couple of you are out there are like, wow, that's pretty expensive. I hope I can actually get my hands on this, on the real life vehicle, maybe one day. Well, um, let me kind of, I hate to burst your bubble, but there were only 63 units of this vehicle ever made, which is a reference to the company's birth in 1963, obviously. And each owner got a chance to spec their car personally with the lead designer of the company. And yeah, so pretty special car here. And another quick fun fact for you guys, uh, for this to add to this particular fact, is that the um, is that this particular set, as I said at the beginning, I don't know if I said this before. Uh, in the video, but this car is based on a display model um, that was shown off at multiple car shows to sort of get hype for the release of this vehicle, right? Sort of build up hype for this, right? And of course, get investors interested in this car and whatnot. And um, the Zero of 63 model of this car is owned by Lamborghini themselves, obviously. And nobody else owns it because that, they use that one to show off the car to visitors of the company, right? So sort of show it off, which is, which is really cool. So you'll never truly own the first Lamborghini because the company owns it. <laughs> and they're keeping it on their grounds, which is nice. This particular model of, of, of Lamborghini um, vehicle, or... Automobili, as they call them in Italy, marks the first time Lamborghini used, um, utilized electric, electric parts in their, in their cars, aka the hybrid vehicle, and is the first car to ever introduce, and this is an industry first, super capacitor into its design. What is a supercapacitor, you ask? Well, a supercapacitor, for those who don't know computers and technology, a uh, capacitor is, a, is an electronic component that holds electricity, like excess electricity. And how do you charge it with this car? Well, when you use the brakes. Every time that you utilize the brakes on this car, they're on the actual display of the vehicle, uh, which is located near the gear shift for the forward, neutral, and reverse. It will actually show on the display um, a little a little display um, section that details the the speed of the, the the speed that you're charging the the capacitor. Right. Once it reaches full, and of course you activate it through the through the multiple different interfaces of the actual real life model, that supercapacitor can shoot this thing off like an absolute missile. But then again, for those who know Lamborghini, which I would assume all of you do, or at least most of you do, uh, yeah, the most of the most of their supercars or luxury cars are just absolute missiles on the road, absolute beasts. So, and speaking of the speed, that transitions nicely into our next fact, which is that this model's top speed in real life is 220 miles per hour, or 354 kilometers per hour. And this car can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. Yeah, this thing might as well just be a missile on wheels, let's be honest. So... And 
I already explained how the gear system works, but, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much it for this. And actually, wait, there's one last fact I forgot to throw in. One last fact I forgot to throw into my original notes, but I'm going to say it right here before I forget it, and then I hate myself later because I forgot to put it in the video. But, um, this car, um, what was it? This car, um not only was made with this version, right, from LEGO, but LEGO actually made a real-life scaled, uh, a re uh, fully functional Lamborghini Scion. They actually did it back during the launch of this vehicle, which is fantastic. I might put the video in the description below so you guys can watch it, but really, really cool little celebration type thing that they did to commemorate the release of this car, which is fantastic. And the third version of LEGO's 1 8 scale Technic supercars. So... But with that being said, that's for for real this time. This is going to be it for the review of the Lego Technic set. What was it? Um, what was the set number again? Why can't, why am I, okay. Set number 42115, sorry. <laughs> Lamborghini Scion FPK 37. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you guys want to see more LEGO reviews on this channel, please do let me know in the comments down below, as I do have a couple other LEGO sets I got for Christmas this this year, aka 2021 at the time of this recording. And uh, I would love to show them to you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of you guys in the next video that I do. Larry Squad and have...